<clears throat> men, 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 men. Listen to me. Let me take this gum out because I don't want to be dishonored and disrespectful. You don't need to sit up and be looking all up in my mouth while I'm chewing gum. But men, listen to me. Young men, take it from an old man. Plenty of experience, all right? Don't ever go out here and look at a woman's so-called quote-unquote natural beauty and equate that to righteousness. That's mistake number one. Because there are a lot of beautiful, naturally beautiful women out here, but they ugly as hell. And it only take you a, a few times of actually being around them before you discover, man, this she may be naturally beautiful, but this ain't worth all this damn drama. It ain't. Men, there's a shift in the mentality, and it's been a shift for quite some time. But take advice from this older man right here. This is what you're looking for in a quality woman. You see, when you're leak, when you're searching for a wife, or you're looking for a wife, or you're planning on to get married, you want to marry a woman that is submissive. Number one, you want to marry a woman who is there to build with you, not build for herself and include you in it. No, 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 no. She is there to help build you and your house. And if she can't bring any value and any enhancements to you, you don't need her. You really, truly don't. Any woman out here can go out and have sons, have daughters. What anybody can do that. But see, you have to. You really, truly need to be careful about who you bring seed forth and with in this world. Take it from me. I'm telling you, you really, truly do. We have some, so many women, man. That I'm telling you, some of the most confused women, and I've counseled a lot of grown women over the years and stuff. And I'm telling you, and I'm gonna say it again. I'm telling you, when a woman has too much DNA in her, it's, it's chaos, it's confusion, it's it's um, it's it's really off the chain. And only deliverance and only Yah can change that frequency. I'm telling you because there are so many challenges out there. Take my advice. Take my advice and save yourself a lot of heartache. Don't go after beauty. Don't go after this one that's so-called prideful and they tell you about their accomplishments and what they can do. Look for a woman of a meek and quiet spirit, which in the sight of Yah is of great price. Or the King James says, in the sight of the Lord is of a great price. It is of a great price. It really truly is. A woman of a meek and quiet spirit. Meek and quiet. Now, automatically, how many women in this generation fail that right now? Because, I mean, in ministry, we got a lot of women on the outside, they look like they're meek and quiet. But behind the scenes, they'll buck up, rise up. Man, they will talk arrogantly, make mouths at. And then when they get out in the front of everybody, the husband look like he just got finished uh, coming from the, the pig style. And the woman is smiling because she done got her way, whatever way that is. Man, I'm, man are you designed to serve y'all or, or to serve a woman? The woman is put here to serve you. You. She is there to build with you. All her dreams, all her ambitions, she ain't got none. She don't have any. She don't have any at all unless they coincide with you. That's just the way that it is. Now, this ain't the way that this wicked pagan American society is, who has empowered them to be rebellious, to be stubborn, to be stiff-necked, to be stout-hearted, uh, to try to be in control. No, 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 no. I'm telling you. I'm speaking of women who have extreme morals and values. We're talking about real, true, biblical morals and values. Men, listen to me. The woman that you may need, she may not be the prettiest. She may not even be shape uh, the best. But man, she has the qualities and traits of a woman that will build with you, a woman that will submit to you, a woman that will make sure that your dreams come true. She is there to help that. And a woman that will rear and raise your children after you, after what you want them to be. Because after all, you're a man, right? I mean, what a beautiful thing that is right there. And I'm telling you, 
years later, you're going to be thanking Pastor Dow that you didn't look for that one that, that puts a lot of stock in her damn beauty. Um, that puts a lot of stock. Because I don't know who told y'all this, that beauty equates to holiness. It don't. As a matter of fact, them some of the most troubled people that you're going to have the most trouble out of. That's not to say that every single woman that is um, beautiful have issues and trouble because there's some out there that they got the total package. Not only are they beautiful, but man, they're meek. They're humble. They're submissive. They're agreeable. They're supportive. Uh, their mission is all about you, the man. That woman right there would definitely make it to the kingdom. But there's also some less desirable women out there that have this, this arrogant, this egotistical, this wicked, prideful spirit in them that they believe they're all that in bag of chips just because they got a vagina. No, 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 no. Listen to me, men. Listen to me real good. You better look for that woman that's, that's submissive and agreeable. Well, the, where, where she brainwashed, well, at least, her, at least her mind is washed. It's better than that corrupt mind that, that's full of boo-boo. I can tell you that right now. Don't go out there. I'm telling you, don't make that mistake. Don't do it. <clears throat> You're going to have a lot of heartache and a lot of trouble because a lot of these women today are full of pride. They have this high lofty opinion of themselves. They really truly believe it. Listen, a woman is designed to be subordinate to her man. Not equal with a man, not walking alone. No, 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 The design. Now, mind you, I'm speaking from an informed position because I am a student of scripture. I'm not speaking from secular society. So don't go out here. I mean, don't come on here giving me your mind and stuff when you coming from this wicked world. I'm not speaking from that perspective. I'm speaking from the perspective of someone who fears Yah and is planning on making it to the kingdom after we get finished living and running the test of this life. I tell women all the time. I tell them all the time. I say, man, I tell young men all the time too. I said, you, you, Y'all better start living for today because tomorrow's not promised to nobody. You got everybody out here thinking that they're going to make it to a full 70, 80. Dang, that thing loud. A full 70, 80, or 90 years. You actually think they think they're going to do that. When you see young people dying every day, you don't get to pick the day or time or hour when evil's going to come your way or death is going to come your way. You don't never know when it's going to happen. You better live every single day in the set apart way in the way of sanctification so that if it was your time that day that you'll be fit and ready for the kingdom that's why your focus better be oh, no. and wherever your role is be you a, a wife which a woman to a man and be you the husband the man that's the head of the family or children Man, you better make sure you're performing that role because that the, the best role that you can because when this is all said and done, when you look out and see all this is going on in the world, all of this, all these people going to and fro every single day, up and down the earth every single day, none of this is going to matter. I mean, all you got to do is go to a graveyard. You'll see we're not here long. Some people didn't even, some people only made it 20 years. Some people only made it 30 years. So, I mean, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, y'all better take heed. You better sober up real quick. Every day is a day of salvation. And, and you better get real serious about how you treat people. You better make sure that you do keep the commandments and, and making sure that you don't go out there and bear false witness against an anointed one. You don't go out there and bear false witness against y'all's children. <clears throat> y'all don't take that kindly you better make sure that you're not falsifying information lying and manipulating and coercing people to 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 go out here and, and to i mean you know you get you get people that try to ally and stuff listen 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 be true and be honest today don't worry about tomorrow take care of that when it when and if it gets here that's called being sober minded. Plan for the future, but live today.
plan for the future, but live today. I'm in Gallatin, Tennessee with all these damn crazy ass red lights and stuff. And, and they ain't, ain't none of them up. They still got them up, but they ain't taking no pictures no more. I sit down and watch this thing cause people to get more rear ends because people are worried about getting a dang ticket for running a yellow light, getting a red in the mail and paying that. Then, then they all run into the back of someone, probably injuring them, crippling them for life, and then the insurance premiums going up. Boy, we're a special kind of people, aren't we?